Hello guys, welcome to my video. So today we're going to be having a short video about Wine 10 and why it's really, really important for uh, the wine world as a whole. Uh, yeah, and let's get right into it. So, the Wayland Driver, as you might have known because it's already out for like, uh, I think like 7 days or 8 days now, but like, whatever. Um, the Wayland Driver is finally in wine. So uh, actually it, it was in wine since 9, but you had to go through a lot of steps to actually enable it. And now it's just basically by unsetting the display environment variable. So initially your uh, ver environment variable would be set to colon, um, what's it called? Yeah, colon 1. So I think that's display 1 uh, in x11 terms, but you have to actually inset it. So it just actually renders on Wayland this time. So yeah, as you can see, it's echo display. I've, I've set it back to um, this uh, just for the video's purposes. I've been using it for a week now. Uh, so yeah, it's re re really gone good actually. It's fixed a lot of problems uh, <laughs> and it hasn't broken anything. So that's really uh, much a, pretty much a win in my books. So I do recommend like in terms of if you don't have like those programs that it's going to have problems with, for example, uh, the pro programs that it might have problems with are the ones which have like windows that are not rectangles. Um, yeah, so most windows are rectangles, so you're not going to have an issue. Games, if you're just running games through Wine, which pretty much all of us are really uh, running games and like only games through Wine. And we're not running those like old mp3 players which have like curvy designs and stuff like that yeah we're gonna be fine with it so uh, it's not gonna be affecting us the whole limitation factor so yeah uh, they say pop-up windows should be positioned correctly in most cases OpenGL is supported uh, key auto repeat is implemented so the reasons why as, as far as I know uh, that they didn't have it enabled by default. Actually, it's enabled by default, but you have to remove the environment var variable. So, yeah, why why is it like locked behind uh, removing this environment variable? I do think it's because like it's not fully ready. So get ready for like some issues. There might be some, um, but it will be fixed in the future. So if you if you, if if it's got to this point, so uh, it actually mat like they do understand that one day it will be better so that's why they uh, actually did this so yeah from my experience it was it has only like fixed problems rather than actually breaking stuff so yeah i'll show you how to unset it um so yeah as you can see i i did echo display and it shows me this you're just gonna want to unset uh display and there we go and now if you echo uh, display again, uh, display, sorry, sorry, uh, play. Oh, it's already unset. So yeah, see, it's not going to show anything. That means it's unset, and that means we're good to go. Um, yeah. So at this point, the game actually uh, actually tried to um, run through this Wayland driver and the game that I was actually going through at that point was Far Cry which I have a disc copy of um, so yeah really recommend this game and especially if you have um, the Wayland driver it really gets rid of the problems I had a problem that when I alt tabbed uh, the game just started rendering right here and you couldn't really interact with it. I have no idea why that was a thing, but now it's gone and it seems like v v Wine 10 fixed it and like everything, like there was input lag as well and input lag got thrown into the rubbish bin as well. So really nice. I mean, it's only helped me. If, if this is how it's gonna go, I am all for uh, having um, the Wayland driver available. So yeah. Well, with all that said, let's just get into the game. I'm just going to load up here. Um, and I, I'll show you what, what I mean. It's just, if you've played it actually on Wine, and on x Wayland especially, you would know what I'm talking about. So this is how it is. Um, I'll just press the start button, which will bring up this, and it will minimize the game. And we bring it up, 
it's fine. But usually, it was <laughs> it was rendering right here. I don't know why, but like it's gone. And yeah, if, especially if you're running this game and games like this, and I think games in general, honestly, you just have to go and install at the newer version of Wind uh, if if it's available for you. I don't recommend like downloading it from the GitHub and basically um, raw dogging a um, a build of it and just like basically um, installing it without like the dependencies it actually depends on. Uh, updated as well so yeah so do it with your own caution if you know what you're doing you're doing like installing packages that are not in your distros uh, main repositories go ahead do it be my guest but if you don't know please don't just wait it's gonna come eventually and also proton proton la lags the version behind I at least that's what I know it's gonna come in two months or so I hope yeah so when it comes you're pretty much going to be ready to do all of this just through Proton. And maybe like Wine GE, not not Wine GE, but like, but what's the, what's the version called that they made? Uh, Universal Wine Driver? The Glorious Egg Roll thing, the new one. So yeah, you're going to be want, uh, you're going to want to do either of those. Uh, I think worst case scenario, uh, Wine would come to your PC in two months so i mean it's not too long we've waited for it for really long so the drive is coming you, you it's at this point it's inevitable it's gonna come so yeah i hope you enjoyed this video and i hope to see you in the next video bye <laughs>